Hey guys, last lesson you learned about the five number summary. Today we're going to build on that and teach you two more statistical concepts which are range and interquartile range. So firstly let's talk about range which is quite an easy number to find. So let's say we have a group of data so I'm just gonna make up some numbers let's say we have uh, 3, uh, 5, 10, 15, 30, 35. Notice how I have put the numbers in order already so if uh, you're given a set of data that uh, is not in order the first thing you do is put it in put them in order now the range is very easy to find the range is simply the largest number minus the smallest number so that's very easy to find. You can find it just by looking at the data. We can see that the largest number is 35 minus the smallest number is 3. So the answer is 32. So that's the range. Now the next concept that I want to teach you is called the interquartile range. And if you remember last lesson, we learned about the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So pretty much to figure out the interquartile range, you need to find the five number summary, which is uh, dealt with in the previous lesson. So if you forgot how to do that, have a look at the previous lesson. So the five number summary of this group of data, uh, we have five number summary, and we already have the largest number and the smallest number so uh, we're not gonna do them again so we need the upper quartile the median and the lower quartile so the first thing we're gonna find is the median so if we have a look there are one two three four five six six numbers and the position of the median is n plus 1 over 2 so median position is n plus 1 over 2 which is 6 plus 1 over 2 which is 7 over 2 which is uh, 3.5 so the median exists here is where the median is now that means we have the upper half of the data which I'm gonna circle using a different color so we have the upper half here and we have the lower half here so the upper quartile is the median of the upper half so the median of the upper half is 30 so that is our upper quartile so 30 is our upper quartile because that's the median of the top half and the lower quartile is oops use a different color pen upper quartile is 30 because that's the median of the top half and the lower quartile is 5 because that is the median of the bottom half and of, co of course the median itself is between 10 and 15 so uh, 10 plus 15 divided by 2 that's 25 divided by 2 which is 12.5 uh, that's the median so once we have the upper quartile and the lower quartile the interquartile range which we're gonna denote as IQR is simply the upper quartile which is 30 upper quartile minus the lower quartile and that is the interquartile range so we have 30 minus 5 which is 25 so that is how you find the interquartile range thanks for watching see you next time